Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today NVIDIA launched a new graphics driver, uh, version 425.31, and I'm going to try to keep this video short. Uh, we'll be breaking it up into a series. This video is primarily going to be dealing with the performance on the GTX 1660 Ti. We are able to get ray tracing capabilities on these cards from anything on a 1066 gig or higher but no DLSS uh, which uh, I wouldn't expect that because that you know mainly deals around tensor cores which these uh, GTX cards are not capable of or do not have that hardware and uh, embedded within but it's the same story that we have grown to know or have found out from the community regarding uh, performance especially on the RTX cards. Uh, now this driver is supposed to implement improvements for the RTX series cards as far as DLSS and uh, ray tracing enabled at the same time uh, as you can see here on this information. I haven't been able to test that out. I'll probably test it out at a later date and time uh, as I'm going to be busy most of this week and weekend. Uh, but at the April 11th it's, it's nothing you haven't heard about before. I just wanted to show you the performance I got with the 1660 Ti. I'll be coming to you with performance on a 1080 Ti and uh, you know 2080, 1060, and uh, that's pretty much all I have in the 1070, of course. Uh, of course, NVIDIA has their own slides to show about their performance. I only have two titles that I was able to test. Um, didn't try Port Royal because that's a synthetic benchmark, but as far as gaming performance, I did do... Battlefield and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which I'll be showing you towards the end of this video. Uh, you can compare that against um, this particular, I guess, NVIDIA, not sponsored. I'm not sure who did this testing realistically, but you can see the performance numbers that they got with you know ray tracing on ultra, medium, uh, what resolution, stuff like that. I did test you know all, everything from 1080p all the way up to 4K with ray tracing enabled uh, Battlefield 5 and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider excuse me, showed a performance reduction of anywhere between 35 to 45 percent so the performance impact is huge uh, for the GTX cards uh, it really comes down to whether or not you feel the better quality looks or the lighting itself uh, has value to you to take such a performance hit honestly I don't particularly like it but uh, it's up to you uh, you know if the lighting and, and it helps make the the visual quality of the gameplay much better then you can enable it uh, obviously if you're running a 1660 Ti or 1070 or 1060 you're gonna be running it on uh, you know lower resolutions like 1080p or 1920 by 1080 I wouldn't recommend 2K or 4K because you're going to take a huge hit and it's going to get choppy. Battlefield wouldn't even play for me on 4K uh, Ultra Ray Tracing. It was like playing Mario Brothers, uh, which I expected that. And then looking at the uh, other titles. By the way, here you, you just go to NVIDIA like you normally would to install the drivers. You know, simple, simple stuff. Install the drivers and then now inside the settings uh, where you saw that Ray Tracing was uh, there it's now able to be manipulated so you can turn it on and off set you know uh, low medium I think it's just low medium high ultra uh, don't quote me on that I forgot which game does what but you can play around with the ray tracing levels as you see fit but just to keep this video short I'm just gonna show you some uh, slides of the data I have and move on to testing the next card tomorrow because it's already late and I uh, just want to wrap it up there. So let me know what your thoughts are of NVIDIA introducing ray tracing capabilities to GTX cards. Uh, what do you think that's a, a pointless move or something profound? Uh, it's good for the community. I'm glad uh, ray tracing. The, the one thing I can see beneficial about the situation is that NVIDIA allowing ray tracing on lower tier cars mean that the developers, the game developers themselves, uh, we'll see uh, maybe a worth 
or you know some something to build upon which should make not only the game development better but the ray tracing technology better better as things move on as Nvidia improves their cards and GPUs uh, so it should definitely help out in the future uh, the technology isn't capable of handling it even the RTX cards struggle unless you have a 2080 Ti which is expensive uh, struggle to play games uh, with ray tracing enabled and DLSS uh, at least my 2080 does at higher resolutions which I prefer to play at higher resolutions so it's a catch-22 let me know your thoughts what you think um, you know about it is it good is it bad is it pointless is it stupid is it worthwhile we just don't have the uh, hardware to match the the software yet and we're, we'll get there one day just let me know in the comments below I also have this uh, page that I've been scrolling through and talking to you guys on uh, linked in the description below but take it easy guys like share subscribe comment below I'll definitely be coming with my own data on the 1070 1080 Ti 1060 and all that good stuff later on probably retest the 2080 with the uh, new driver improvements I'm sure some of the you know more uh, predominant tech tubers and well-known uh, enthusiasts in the space will come out with their own technical reviews uh, they have better hardware better testing better uh, methodology so uh, check out their channels in the future uh, hopefully to do some testing I think it's pointless to test this but I just want to run it on my own anyways I'm out of here guys catch you later